What is going on guys, Adam here at what the Foot yay, yeah. so today we're going to be reviewing Robert Perez's Thunderstruck Icon card. It's coming in with medium, medium work rates, 4 star, 4 star for skill moves and weak foot, and controlled acceleration type. Now you can play it left mid, right mid, left wing and cam, so it's very very easy to fit him into any team. He's got a good pace, he's got very good shooting stats for a winger and a cam. He's got very good passing stats, but if you're going to play him as a cam, I would boost that a little bit. His dribbling is fantastic, except for his balance. Agility and balance could probably do him a boost. His stamina at 85 is okay, but his other physicals aren't the best, and obviously his defending is not very good. Now, he is an absolute Arsenal and France legend. Absolutely love him, and he's got the finesse playstyle plus. He's also got incisive pass, whip pass, flare, technical and quick step. So he's got some very good play styles. So let's get into the action and see how good he is. So now I've played him for quite a few matches. I've played him across all positions. Uh, I've even tried him at striker where he was actually pretty good. Um, people forget because he he was a bit of a how can I say it without swearing? Um he was a bit soft. Uh he got he got bullied, he got knocked about. Um but he's a big lad. He's like six two, six three. Um kinda reminds me a little bit of Kai Havertz um in real life. He's big but doesn't really know how to use it. So at striker he was pretty good. His his body frame worked out perfect for him. On the wings, he was good, especially on the left, where he can come in and use that finesse playstyle plus. On the right, he was good for crossing, uh, good for shooting across the goal, but the chances didn't seem to come as frequently for him as when he was on the left. But where he excelled was at camp. His movement, his passing, his finishing as a cam is stunning. Now, he's somewhere in between a cam, a winger and a striker. I wouldn't say he's the perfect of any of those positions. But he's close to being a perfect cam. I would say that if you could boost the passing, the agility and the balance. And maybe maybe if you made him the focal part of your team. So he's probably best suited to someone who doesn't have a crazy team yet. And if he's the star of your team... I think that you will not be disappointed in him. I do think that he's a little bit expensive at the moment. He has just gone up to an 89. So he's coming in around 129k. He was at 80k not long ago. Um, I think once he gets below 100k, he's probably worth it. But at the minute, he's a little bit expensive for what you get. Unless you're an Arsenal or France fan. Here comes the summary. Thank you very much for watching, guys.